Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another way to add images to a post or a page in WordPress is to add an image gallery. An image gallery is a group of images and their corresponding thumbnails. A user can see the list of thumbnails and then look at each image individually. To add an image gallery, click into the post or page where you want the gallery to appear. Then click the Add Media button to open the Insert Media dialog box. Then click the Create Gallery button at the left side of the dialog box. If needed, you can select the Media Library tab to select from existing images. Click the image that you want to add to the image gallery to select it. Notice that when an image is selected, a check mark appears in its upper right corner to indicate the images that will be included in the gallery. As you continue to click on each image to add to the gallery to select it, you will be able to enter the details for the currently selected image within the Attachment Details pane to the right. To deselect an image from being included in the gallery after selecting it, click the check mark icon in the upper right corner of the selected image. The images to be included in the gallery will appear in the lower left corner of the dialog box. You can also click the clear link that appears in the lower left corner to clear all of the selected images and start over again if needed. To add images to the gallery that are not already within the media library, you can upload them by using the Upload Files tab. You can then click the Select Files button to launch an open dialog box where you can navigate to the file you want to upload and then click the Open button, or alternately, if you have an open window with the file displayed, you can simply click and drag the file onto the Upload Files tab to initiate the upload. After the desired images to add to the gallery have been selected, you can then click the Create a New Gallery button. In the Edit Gallery dialog box, you can drag and drop to reorder the images. Click on an image, drag it to a new location, and then release in order to reorder the images. You can use the Gallery Settings pane to the right of the dialog box to change the gallery settings. Use the Link To drop-down to select what the gallery images should link to when clicked. To have the viewer jump to the attachment page for the image upon clicking the thumbnail, choose Attachment Page. Choose Media File in order to have the thumbnails linked to the actual media file. This can be useful if you have a plugin in place that displays the images in the gallery in a slideshow form. Choose None to not link anything to the media file. Use the Columns drop-down to choose how many columns the gallery should have. Finally, you can check the Random Order checkbox to have the images appear in a random order. Once you are done in the Edit Gallery dialog box, click the Insert Gallery button in the lower right corner to insert the gallery into the post or page. To edit the gallery in the post or page, click it to select it, and then click the Edit Gallery button that appears in the upper left corner of the Gallery placeholder. This will take you back to the Edit Gallery dialog box where you can edit the gallery or add additional images. To delete an image gallery that appears within a page or a post, click it to select it, then click the Delete button which looks like an X in the upper left corner of the selected image gallery. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free.